Hey folks, welcome to Testing Hacks. The most confusing question is how to derive test scenario and how to derive test cases from that test scenario. I'm here to demonstrate on how can we uh, derive test cases from test scenarios and how to derive uh, test scenarios from an user story. So in this video, we will understand it through a demo application. Let us begin. So first we will understand what is test scenario first. Test scenario is nothing but a high level test case which directly verifies a functional or business need without getting too much into granular level of testing. Okay, so as it says that a test case is a high level test case. It is not a detailed test case. It is a high level statement basically. And it actually directly verifies the functional need without getting too much into the uh, very specific part of the application. We will understand it through the demo application. So these are the four main points that we have to keep in mind before we uh, write the test scenario. A test scenario can be further broken down into many test cases. Okay. And when functionality is defined, each expected behavior of the functionality should have a test scenario to check its functioning. So basically, an expected behavior will have a particular test scenario basically. Uh, overall, uh, uh, we will demonstrate it. Okay, It is an overall, overall uh, scenario that we are talking about here. A good practice is to have both positive and negative test cases a particular test scenario should contain positive test case as well as negative test case so uh, let us understand it through the user stories so the first user story talks about launching the website okay and it should land on the home page so here we have taken a demo application Basically, using this demo application, we will write down the test scenario. So, watch till the end to get more information about it. So, we have actually designed three uh, user stories here. This is story number one, which is talking about launching the application. And if the user is new, he should sign up to place an order. If he wants to place an order, then he has to sign up. And if the user is an existing user, then he or she should be able to log in with the user credential and he must be able to place an order. So here there are multiple scenarios as well as multiple test cases. First, uh, before we begin, we will first understand the application. So we cannot blindly go and uh, write the test scenario. First, we have to understand it. So first, let's, uh, let's uh, launch this application. So here I have launched a demo application, which is demoblaze.com. So I will leave the link for this website in the description and uh, you can just try it out. So as it says on launching this URL, it should come and land on this home page. First thing. And if the user is new user and uh, we have multiple products in here, if you see. So if I want to place an order, first user must be signed up. Otherwise, I'll be able to just view the details. I'll not be able to uh, purchase anything. So first thing is I have to sign up. And the second thing, whatever we are talking is about the login. If I'm on already existing user or a registered user i should be able to log in with the credentials so first user story talks about just these two things so we have two more user stories let us also see that and here the second user story talks about uh, at the top of the home page carousel images should be displayed carousal in the sense the moving images uh, that those images should be displayed on home page all the products should be listed in the card format the product 
should have all the relevant details about the product okay and on click of different categories such as phones laptops and monitors user should be able to see the relevant product list and details so this is the second user story we will also understand it uh, in the application and we will also see the user story 3 on click of cart so it is basically cart okay oh, okay each of the cart product details followed by device name price product description should be displayed and user should be able to add the product to the cart so which is nothing but on click of each of the or uh, any uh, not each on click of any of the uh, product any of the product suppose if i am selecting mobile and if i click on that i should be able to see device name price product description and i should be uh, able to add it to the cart and also the added item should be visible in the cart so let us understand this in the application so as it was mentioned so on this page a carousal images should be displayed so here it is a rolling image okay so this should be displayed and also this product should display the details okay all the details should be displayed and also the details about the price and which model it is all this should be displayed so this is what it is mentioned in the user story user story is nothing but the specification of the application basically so we have three categories here phone laptop and monitors so if I click on this here I should be able to see all the details that is which device it is and then uh, what is the price of it and what is the product description also and it talks about adding to the cart if i add it to the cart it should be visible in the cart so these are the three user stories we will write a test scenario for okay first let me write a test uh, scenario for user story one here i have already prepared a chart of it let me show it yes so in here the first point what i spoke was about if i'm a new user i must be able to log in right sorry sign up right so the first scenario what will become what it will be is as a new user i should be able to sign up this is the first scenario and this is a just a dummy template that i have prepared and this template differs from one company to another company and one project to another project so don't worry about this template so it is just that i have uh, taken the test scenario id so for this id we have this scenario new user to be able to sign up so if i am a new user i should be able to sign up is the first scenario for that if i go back to the application yeah if i click on sign up in this pop-up we have two fields one is username and another is password so with this what type of validation i can do so it is just a high level scenario the signing up process that i have to perform now so one is i am entering a valid email id something like this because this is a demo application and it accept all type of uh, values okay so you can just try it out and i am entering a valid username and valid password what should happen is a test case basically okay and if i'm entering something uh, uh, with respect to this application i have pre prepared few test cases so i'll just enter the username and then i'm not going to enter password so i'll just go and click on sign up so it throws me an error saying that please fill out username and password so and also now i'm going to leave 
uh, username field blank and I will uh, just enter the password and click on sign up. Again, it throws an error. So these two are the negative test cases. The positive flow is entering valid username and valid password. Okay. And the negative test case is entering the invalid combination of username and password or uh, if a field is blank. So all these comes under negative scenario. So that is what I have written here. User is able to sign up with valid email address and password. For that, it should be followed by test step. Test step basically contains the steps okay, to be performed to achieve this test case. First is, I have to launch the browser and hit this URL. And then the next step is to click on sign up and enter valid email address and password. Okay, on the pop-up it is displayed. And then click on sign up on the pop-up. So, and next what we have to write is the expected uh, uh, result. So, the expected result is that user should be able to log in. So, you can write the actual result based on what happens after performing this particular test case. So, that is a homework for you actually. Okay. And the next uh, test case is error is displayed when email field is empty and clicked on sign up button. So, to perform that, what are the test steps we have to follow? So, this I have written here. So, we have to launch the browser, click on sign up button and then enter the password. We have to just enter the password. We are not supposed to enter the username. Okay. And then click on sign up. So, this is what the expected result is. It should throw the error message as please fill out the username and password. So, this is the three set of test cases for this particular scenario. So, we can also write based on the validation that we have on that particular field. Suppose if we don't give at the rate in the username or if I'm giving it as an email address, if I don't give at the rate or all those validation actually comes into picture when we are uh, performing the validations. Okay. And the next scenario was talking about if the user is an existing user, correct? So if the user is an existing user, he should be able to log in with his credential. So this is the particular field for that, correct? This is the particular uh, pop-up. So in here also we have just username and password field. If we just have username and password field, first, uh, test case would be I'll write down the proper username and password combination. Okay. In that case, what should happen? That would be the first test case. In that case, what is the expected result? Okay. So, I should be able to log in successfully. And okay. And another combination is suppose if I leave the username field blank and then the password field blank, what should happen? So, these are the uh, test cases. So, basically, a test scenario is a high-level statement. It just uh, specifies the high-level statement. It doesn't contain the detailed uh, verification or the validation. So, here, we are validating it through writing the test cases. And for that, we will follow certain test steps. This is what... Uh, majorly test scenario is about. So, story 2 and story 3, we will discuss it in the next session. So, till then, it is your homework. You can just go and uh, do some research on it. So, thanks for watching. If you have not liked this video or subscribed to the channel, please do it. Thank you.